This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hey everyone, Jason Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment. Welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. We've got our hands on the S13 powertrain from International. We're at the International Proving Grounds uh, here in Indiana. We're going to take the S13 for a test drive. Uh, let's get behind the wheel. thing uh, after you disengage the brake we're in neutral still good um, we're going to showcase creep mode so basically okay. that's you're probably familiar with it let off the service brake and it just starts to slowly move you forward okay so first, automatically there's no yeah. Just, yep okay. automatically so okay. yep. yep you got it yellow then red drive you'll notice how so oh, yep nope you're good, good. good. you're off the service brake i'm good ready Okay, I'm off the service brake. Yep, and you this notice how it's just that in, yep, that initial vehicle movement. Yep. And, and then there's another, you're probably gonna be passing us on the right, go ahead and service brake it. Service brake. And then we've got this turtle button here, which is new to not only our product, but the industry hit it on. That's called maneuvering mode. So foot off the brake, it shouldn't move. Cool. And then feather that the, the throttle kind of like a clutch. It acts like a clutch. Yeah. So this is for oh, low speed yeah. maneuverability. Or backing, really. Yeah, it's and it's great for loading into docks. Yeah, very cool. Okay. Cool. Turn off. Yep, and then fire away. You don't need to stop again, just LT entering track. So this is my first time with the S13. Yeah. Walk me through some of the stand-up features here and what I'm what I'm doing. So this is kind of a, a whole new you know, platform for us, the way that I describe it is, you know, this was sort of the clean sheet emissions for us. So some of the things that Lee White, that, you know, we like to, to call out is not only it's meeting, you know, the emission standards and it's managing NOx in a different way. It's really allowing the engine to kind of do what engines are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Turn fuel into power, transmit that to the new transmission. So really the, the great thing about the product is the transmission as you're noticing here yeah right it's quiet right right the operation of the engine and the transmission it's we can talk and have a conversation yeah not trying to scream over it and this the, sh the shift points uh between you know shifting points is really smooth and that's really managed by the uh the electronic clutch actuation that we've got uh as part of our t14 setup yeah, very smooth. And I, somehow I feel like it's it's quieter now and you're in operation in the cab than, than standing when it's standing outside. Out. Yeah, yeah, standing for in sure. idling too. Maybe that's a, a cab feature as well. But yeah. yeah, nice and quiet, nice yeah. and smooth. The pickup is really, I mean, it's got really good pickup too. Are we loaded here? We are. So I think we're at 42,000 cargo wings. Okay. So we're loaded up at about 60,000 pounds. Yeah, it had really good pickup. But so right let's along. switch into right lane because yeah if there might be so many stationaries we will loop around in the left lane okay. yeah very nice this is i haven't driven this one before. oh that's really first cool. time in an lt first time yeah well no not in an lt but with the s13, with the s13 yeah. integrated yep so yes I mean, we've been in production since uh december of 2023 right delivering vehicles all throughout the year and yeah starting to see them on the roadways here in the midwest very cool. Did uh, power ratings or, or the, yeah? The so range? we're uh, similar to what Andy called out today. We've got low horsepower range at 370, 1450 torque. Okay. Um, as well as what we're actually in here is 515 horse, 1850 torque. Okay. So this one is spec for the big boy applications. Right. Yeah, it feels great. Are, you, you 
kind of sitting in a computer, you get away from the product itself and kind of getting out here, touching it, right. driving it around. It's like, it's, I just, I love it. I love the opportunity to come out here. On the S S13 fuel efficiency wise, what do you, when you're talking with customers like application over the road, kind of like this, what do you talk to them about in terms of what they can expect over the previous LTI? Yeah, so uh, the, the savings that, you know, we've done not only internal captive testing, we, we've outsourced and done third party testing. You know, when it comes to our previous generation, that's usually where we're comfortable giving statements, right now doing measurements of when you were in an A26 with a neat and dirt transmission, if you're spec to spec in the S13 with the T14, you can expect to see anywhere upwards of like 15% oh, wow, okay. fuel efficiency gains. Yeah, yeah. that's wild. And that's kind of, you know, the on-highway product, some of the, the features of the LT, it's it's all aero-related updates, right? We've, right. you know, it's all about closeouts, wheel closeouts, fender extensions, fairing extensions. So we've been releasing over the last two years a lot of chassis-related updates that, that are really getting the best bang for the buck. So we do expect to see the, the best fuel economy performance for a 13-liter engine uh, in, in the 13-liter space. Right. Well, even, even now, I mean, I'm cruising at 55, I'm at 13, but, you know, yeah. just right about, right under 10 for the RPM, right under 10,000, yeah. so right in that fuel efficient suite. So yeah, and that sweet really spot is 13th gear, like you mentioned, this is where it wants to operate, this is right. the direct drive. There is 14th gear, it is a 14 gear transmission, and you'll usually only get into that either going down a grade or in you know, bobtail mode, but right. it really wants to be in 13th gear. Right. Yeah, and it's still hanging in there. I mean, I'm on this big curve at 51, still at 13, but still RPM is just right there. Yep. That's nice. And the ships are really consistent too. There's not a lot of, yeah, you yep. know what I mean? There's, it's, it's really well handled. Yeah, it's a 29% step between each, so it's an even distribution on your, your shifting schedule. Out here, man. Oh, yeah, there's a speed. Drop that speed limit sign. <laughs> oh, that was yeah, the one the you're looking yeah, at. The speed recognition sign. That was cool. LT2 coming to a stop at loading position. Transmission itself is capable of uh, six reverse gears. Oh gosh, okay. Which in the on-highway space we've locked out to two. Because to your point, if you're ripping it 20 <laughs> miles in reverse, <laughs> you've got right. a problem, right? That's right. That's you're an gonna, operator error. Yeah, you're gonna have an issue. Yeah. We get in those situations where you kind of gotta goose it a little bit just to kind of get it. Uh, if you got a bump or something. That's cool. Uh, okay. All right. Jason, Perfect. thank you. Nice to meet you, man. I appreciate the time.